Right, the first thing before you do anything when you're soldering, I'm going to show you how to tin your wire, solder it to your motor. You need to make sure your surfaces are clean. So if you take a look at this motor, it's not the sorry, it's not the best picture, but you can see all the terminals are still covered in the old solder, and it just ends up being in a blob in there. So you've got to get that off now. One of the best tools you can use, which I'd recommend when you're soldering, is a solder sucker. These are, for me, pretty much one of the most essential tools. Just press down and then hold it against it and pop. So, what I'm going to do. <coughs> You always want to clean the tip on the sponge. I like to take a bit of solder, put it on the iron, you can always tap some off into a box. Now for this, all the solder is at the back of the motor. So What I do is I take a small bit of solder, prime the pump, heat behind the terminal, let it melt up against it and release the pump. Now if you can see, that's basically, oh, sorry I'm doing this upside down so it's not easy, that's taking all the solder off that terminal. So quickly do that for the other two. You only need enough solder on the tip so that um, <coughs> to put the heat through you don't need a lot of solder. Because the more solder you put on the tip the more it's going to put back onto this terminal which you don't need. It literally just needs tinned. That one had a lot of solder on it, so that needs it one more time. And this last one's got even more. You can look at the majority of that 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 just got. But there's still a bit more left. Got a little bit more off the last two terminals. Now as you can see, you've got all the space back to sit the wire in and that's important when it comes to the flux part at the end. Now, it's actually still quite dirty this motor, if you look around it. Get your contact cleaner. Just a little bit on a cotton bud. And just clean around those contacts and that brings them up nice you've got a perfectly clean work surface to start with see the colour that comes off it from all the old solder and the flux next you want to prepare your wire so Taking that, just a normal bit of red, and you just want to 
strip the end off to expose it. Bear in mind when you're stripping a wire you don't need to expose a lot of the wire for attaching it. Not the best wire strippers these actually. So, not exposed very much on this wire as you can see. Just a little bit. What you want to do is you want to take them and you want to twist them around like this. I'll show you in a second how they look. You want to twist them so they're not just all in a straight line. See there you go. So they're all twisted in. Next, I take flux. As you can see, dipped a lot of wire in this before. I take the wire and I dip it in, just get just get enough on the end of it. Doesn't have to be a lot. As you can see there, that's that is more than enough. And then you just wind that into it. Now, I usually sit this on something to do, so I'll actually just sit on the flux, so it'll be easier. Just over the edge. I'll do it that way, so it actually shows. Now what I do is, the iron will draw the solder to it. It will draw it to the heat. So you clean your tip up for this bit, wipe it clean, turn it again. Now I get enough solder on on here and I go underneath so it draws it through the wire so you'll hear it you'll hear the reaction of the flux just a little bit more on the solder and then you put the other side of the solder to the wire and it drags it through and that that's all it is and that's it through and if you look at the wire it's now perfectly tinned and ready to be soldered onto the motor that's all it takes to draw the solder through to the soldering iron tiny little bit of flux a little bit of heat soldering iron underneath that will draw it through it next step for me I take the motor and I take the flux Take a little bit on the end of a screwdriver, spit this much, and at this point, just want to place it into the groove so it sits in the groove like that. So try and hide the light so you can see. Now, when I set this here. All I will literally need to do now take my solder you set the wire in the recess so it's sitting in like that, you don't have to do anything little bit of solder just to tin the iron hold it on top you can hear the reaction and it falls into place off blow it to cool it down and that is it, that's all it takes now you have a join that is nice and shiny it's a nice shiny join all the way around if the joint's not shiny it's generally not good the best thing to do is just pull on, pull on the wire and see if it'll pull off, if it'll pull off it's a dry joint and then it'll have a lot of resistance in it the less time you need to solder an iron on the joint the better the joint will be and the cleaner it will be